Let me show you some really bad code. Let us try to read a file safely. A brief look to node.js documentation tells that we should use the read file function. The obvious solution is to embed the call to read file in a try catch. This is what we did here. So, in the first example, the first argument to read file is undefined, it's not a file name, and the error is caught immediately. However, not all errors are caught immediately. In the second example, we give a number where a function is expected. This is not checked when invoking read file, or at least with my version of node.js, and the error stays mute. Now we want to address a non-existing file, so we set up a callback to display the error and to throw it. The whole code is being wrapped in a try catch. What happens? Read file checks and accepts its argument. It then registers the work to be down since it cannot perform it immediately because the file, for instance, may be stored on a slow remote disk. And then read file returns with the undefined value which is printed. Since no error occurred, the try catch is exited and the catch close is not triggered. Later, the node.js runtime notices that there is no such file as does not exist. So it then triggers the callback, which displays the error and throws it. However, the callback is invoked out of the initial try catch. It's an orphan computation. So there is no catch clause available and so no possibility to catch this error. It's a bad habit to ignore exceptions, especially uncaught exceptions. So the node.js runtime signals that uncaught exception. Eventually, we want to get the content of an existing file. So we set up a callback to return the length of the content. What happens? As before, read file checks and accepts its argument. It then registers the work to do since it cannot perform it immediately. And then read file returns with the undefined value which is printed. Since no error occurred, the try catch is exited and the catch close is not triggered. Later, the node.js runtime notices that the mentioned file exists, so it reads this file and then triggers the callback with an empty error and a string containing the content of the intended file. The callback just prints the length of the file. Since the callback was invoked by the node.js runtime, it returns a result, so since the callback was invoked by the node.js runtime, it's an orphan computation, it returns a result to that runtime, which doesn't care, so the result becomes garbage. To sum up, the try-catch is useful to catch incorrect arguments directly signaled by read file. The callback has no relationship with this try-catch. It runs if it ever runs later. Throwing an error or returning a result from the callback goes to node.js runtime, that is, out of the hands of a programmer. If you want to process the result or the error, your code must be in the callback or invoked from the callback. This will induce the callback hell and we will see how to cope with that hell.